everybody, it's Shrewboy313 and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. In the last episode, we defeated Watson, the Morville gym leader. And in this episode, we will be going to visit Wally's family in Verdanturf over to the west. So let's head out. Just something I'd quickly like to mention before I forget. Between the now and the last episode, I evolved Totodile and Torty... Him is it? Taught him Rock Smash, so we now have a Pokemon that's capable of using Rock Smash. And from the looks of things, it looks like Croconaw's going to become our HM slave. And here on Route 17 is where you will find the daycare, where you can obviously just leave your Pokemon and they will be raised up. Like one experience point for every step you take. So actually, if I take a look in my box, I believe there is. There may be a Pokemon in there, I can't remember. No, there isn't, but I was going to go catch a random Pokemon and just dump it in the um, uh, daycare center and then like leave it for the whole game. And honestly, I think I'm going to do that, so I'll be right back. I'm back. I went and caught another Houndour, so it's going to be luck. And I'm just honestly going to leave it here for the daycare center, and if I remember, and maybe if someone reminds me. We'll just leave it here and pick it up once we finish this series. So yeah, just take this hound out. I will I will be back for it later unless I forget, which is the most likely outcome. And before I head any further west, I'd just like to say that... Well, I said this in the last episode, I did battle all the trainers. A large proportion of which you do register them in your Pokenav. But, like you can see here, I didn't pick up any of the items or go in the grass, so the random Pokemon that show up, I, ha I haven't seen any of them yet, so it's still a surprise for me. So I think I'd just like to take, once I've got this berry, take a quick look in the grass and see what shows up. And first off we have a Hypno, a... A d decent psychic type Pokemon, I guess, but we've got um we've already got Gwen and Gwen for Dark type and Amanda that no psychic type move, so I think we've sort of got that circle of types covered, and we've also got a Steelix, which could be a pretty good Pokemon, a Steel Ground type that doesn't actually learn any Ground type moves, which is a bit weird. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Um, ah, another Steelix, so I'm just going to speed it up and a third Steelix. Unless it's the same two we keep running out. <laughs> okay, um, I've got to be honest, I wasn't actually expecting that. Um, um, okay. Well, I'll see if I can poison it and then I'll... Well, okay then. I'll throw a Pokeball to see if I can catch it because I think... Why not? But if I don't catch it... Let's just say I'm not gonna, exactly going to go hunting them. But we didn't catch it and that's... Honestly, that's fine by me. Because I don't exactly want to be too overpowered, but... But yeah, it'll go down via poison anyway, so... So there's Deoxys there. So I honestly wonder how many of the legendary Pokemon we are actually gonna find. I mean, we've we've already seen Ho -Oh back in Granite Cave, and there are Deoxys here on Route 117. But if you come up here and cut that tree right here, you will find another revive. And I'm not sure if yeah, it was, yeah. I'm, I was going to say I'm not sure if it's here or not, but if you go to a certain place, and I believe it was just further down there, you could find hidden items. And apparently there's also Illumise down here, but honestly I don't think I'm going to gonna try and catch it, but I say we gather these items. A Great Ball, which is always good, meaning we don't have to fork out any money. I believe it was here there's a hidden item. Yeah, there it is. Find there, you can find yourself a Repel don't really have that much to say but other than we are now here in Verdenturf town the windswept highlands with the sweet fragrance of grass 
But if you remember, a while ago, back in, back at Rustboro City sort of area, there was a play called play a place known as the Rust Turf Tunnel, which connected Rustboro and Verdenturf, Verdenturf City town place. And as you can see here, here is the other end of it. What do you have to say? My papa told me he says this tunnel's full of timid Pokemon. They go all scared of loud noises, so they stop the tunnel project. But yeah, if you're wandering from this side, you not a, you can head down here and you it will bring you out into this area of one, Route 116. And if you talk to this guy, I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? So yes, this man has lost his glasses, and there's also an item up here, a HP up, which is always good. But what do you say we help this poor fellow who's clearly wearing glasses find his glasses? So if I can find the item finder, there's apparently an item over this way. Um... And we find a pair of black glasses. Not entirely sure if these are his or not, but let's check anyway. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Those glasses, may I see them for a second? Hmm, these are black glasses. They're not what I'm looking for. Maybe my glasses aren't around here. You don't say. Maybe it's because they're still on your face. And yes, just, by, just like that, he wanders off and you get to keep the black glasses, which, again, it's... Essentially, another held item like the soft sand, but it works for dark types. And uh, But since we do actually have a dark type on our team, I think it would be a good idea to give the black glasses to Gwen. Even though she doesn't... Even though she doesn't actually know any dark type moves yet, she does learn them when she levels up to some point. But I say we head back into here. By here I mean Rustoff Tunnel. And apparently the, we're getting thing, words, my brain went a bit blank. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon in the mountains a mountain Pokemon? I don't know. I thought they did. But yeah, there's just a hiker in here. No real problem, just the regular hiker thing of having essentially match up and Geodude. But if you wander up here, there is... I was going to say there is something before we got interrupted by Donphan. You can find a Max Ether, which is basically... It fully heals the... P well, restores the PP of any one move. And let's talk to this woman. On the other side of my ro of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He he's not just digging the tunnel he to come see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. And these look eerily like those large boulders that we were being told about that we could smash. This rock appears to be breakable. Would you like to use rock smash? I think we would. And our HM slave Croconor uses rock smash to break these rock. Wow, you shattered the boulder blocking the way. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. And just like that, he gives us HMO4. That contains strength. If a muscular Pokemon were to learn that, it would be able to move even large boulders. Wanda, now I can see you anytime. That's wonderful. Please take some rest in my home. And yes, for doing that, they wander off together. And just because I don't want it to bug me, I'm just going to destroy this second rock. Sometimes, and I think it's very rare, you can find... Pokemon occasionally in these rocks but I would just like to see whether yes since Croconor is able to learn strength I will teach it to him for, for the future and just like that we have three of our three of the hate well the uh, three HMs on one Pokemon but just like in various other towns, there is also a battle tent here, and there's actually Scott in here. Hey there, I thought I might see you here. A battle tent's a place where you can meet tough trainers. It doesn't matter what the rules are or how battles are waged either. I expect you to do the best you can. Yeah, these these battle tents, um, 
Um, they they have like different rules for each one. Like like for one of them, I don't know which one it is specifically, but it's where you have no control over the over your Pokemon on your team, and they essentially just do what they want. And actually, if you talk to this woman right here, she gives you TM45. Which is attract, which is the move attract, which is actually one of my favourite moves. And even though it may seem like a bit of a waste, or just a bit of a waste of a move, I'm actually going to teach it to Amanda. I'm not entirely sure why, it's probably just because I like that move, but there's honestly no real reason why. That cave, yeah, it's just him telling us about that, and if we just head down here... Um, somewhere, yeah, this is just a woman telling you about the Elite Four, and we have Wanda's house right here, and if we go inside, we can find Wally. I lost you, Matthew, but I'm not feeling down anymore, because I have new purpose in life. Rife? Life? Together with my routes, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, I'm going to be stronger than you. And when I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Oh, Matthew, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. So, I'm guessing that since they're doing wonders for his health, maybe Wally as a person was sick and... Not just because of since he has a Pokemon, because Verdant Turf is a more natural of a place, maybe they thought the air might be better for him. And so hopefully that would be a bit more healthy. And we actually have here these two people that we I won't say saved, we brought together in the cave. But honestly, I'm just gonna actually I'll just see what these few people have to say. Oops. Let me see your Pokemon. I'll check how much it likes you. Oh, your Pokemon. It's getting to you it, something. I believe that is the woman who, when you have max friendship with a Pokemon, she will give you what is known as the friendship ribbon. But that, I believe, that is going to be it for this episode. So I'm going to leave it here, and thank you for anyone who watched. See you next time. Goodbye.